And here it is, its official TV premiere of the Powerpuff Girls. Reboot, continuation, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's here, it's here, and I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> so I'm going to review the first two episodes, and depending on if you guys want, I might do episode reviews of Powerpuff Girls because, well, Steven Universe is still on hiatus till June, and I have I kind of lost track of all the other episodes uh, with uh, Arrow and all that, waiting till next season to do episode reviews. So here we are. <laughs> anyway, um. I like it. Um, it's going to take some getting used to the voices. Don't get me wrong. It's this is going to be a challenge to get <laughs> to um, to like the voices uh, because I'm so used to the classic, uh, the cl of course, the classic voices. But yeah, they're not. They're going to grow. I'm hoping they grow on me. Um, I especially like the Bubbles voice actress. She's she's probably having the most fun. <laughs> um, so I do enjoy, uh, I do enjoy that. Uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, I'm sorry, I've just lost my train of thought, my bad. But no, um, the, the episodes are, some, some people will complain, oh, they're a little too girly. But what do you think? It's called Powerpuff Girls. And as I recall, there were some, uh, sometimes really girly episodes, but I kept watching it. Hell, I watch My Little, I still watch My Little Pony. It's, <laughs> it's a sh I'm I'm watching a show that's a demographic for little girls, but is meant uh, but uh, but now it's gone to a older audience. Yeah. So if I can watch My Little Pony without you know with conviction, I can watch Powerpuff Girls without convi you know with conviction. Probably conviction is probably not the best word. That's the word I don't use anyway. Back uh, back on topic. Uh, first episode is pretty much. Bubbles gets tickets to a boy band, which I was like, boy bands are still a thing, huh? But yeah, she gets a tickets to boy into a boy band, and the and Blossom and Buttercup argue, and the episode goes exactly how it does, how you'd think it would, uh, when they go to Monster Island. Reason being is because, well, the mayor is missing on Monster Island. I don't know why he was on a plane in the first place, and why Miss Bellum didn't talk him out of it. <laughs> Yeah, I will say this: the animation. I love the animation. I think the animation is very crisp. Um, it's uh, it's nice take on the classic uh, animation style, but uh, at the same time, it feels a little new. And it's like one foot in the door, one foot out of the door. You know what I mean? And dear lord, do I love the um, the artwork on the monsters in that first in Escape to Monster Island? I love the monster designs in the in that episode. Um, when they showed the monster called Frederick, the, the creature, uh, Blossom called, I mean, excuse me, Bubbles called Frederick, I was like, that's who's going to end up with, uh, end up with Bubbles at the concert, isn't it? And I was 100% right. So, in the episode, we have them going around with, uh, Blossom and Buttercup arguing over who, who gets to go to the concert, and Bubbles being the voice of reason, which is a, you know, it's a rare thing, but it happens. And at the end of the episode, we discover <laughs> that and this... I can't be the only one who thought this. But when we see the mayor, he's got a bow and arrow, and I literally said to myself, my name is the mayor of Townville, uh, Townsville. After five hours on an island <laughs> near, ta <laughs> near my city, I have returned to back to my city with one goal. To open this jar of pickles and not save my city. I am the Green Mayor. Or the, no, the green pickle. <laughs> yeah. Dun 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 da da dun 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 da da mayor. That was just a horrible rendition of the of the arrow theme, and yeah, the gr yeah pickle. It'll be good for two seasons, then season three will be a stupid romance between Bellum and, and the mayor that will drag on and make the show horrible to watch. Oh, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Anyway, so that episode was pretty fun. The monsters were great designs. Can also, I want to talk about real quick the flame monster, which looks like a demonic version of Flame Princess. I literally said, "Oh, so that's what she's gonna look like in sixty years." Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Flame Princess. It looked. I can't be the only one who looked at the creature and went, "Oh, Flame Princess literally let herself go." Look at that. 
Um, the cutaway jokes, I want to bring that up. The cutaway jokes are were a little jarring as well, like the rap battle and a few other things, especially in the next episode. But they weren't too terrible. It's not like in Teen Titans Go where they drag out these cut these um, random jokes or cutaway jokes to the point where it's just that nauseum. They feel I feel like they know um, Powerpuff Girls, along with all the other cartoons on Cartoon Network outside of Go, understand when to use these jokes in moderation and balance them out. Whereas Go will just drag out these random jokes constantly and bash you over the face with them. Whereas in Powerpuff Girls, I feel like they've reached a good medium so far. They could easily fuck up in the next few episodes. Who knows? Um, what else did I want to say about that episode? Not much other than it kind of went the way I went, and it was a nice intro to the new show. Second episode, we get the return of Princess, who, by the way, I know this is supposed to be a continuation, apparently, but, um, yeah, what confused me was that when Princess is showing off what she, she can do, Blossom's like, you don't have superpowers, ta-da! And all this, I'm like, you already know what she can do, Blossom. What are you doing? What, what is this? I don't know if it's, like, trying to be a soft reboot now, or, I don't know. But yeah, it was nice to see uh, Princess. I would have preferred to have Jennifer Hale back as um, as Princess. I would have liked that. But I think... I don't know who the voice actress for Princess is, but I'm, I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong. I could be absolutely wrong. But I'm pretty sure that was Kate Mucci, uh, the voice of Sadie and in uh, Steven Universe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Kate Mucci. I could be wrong, but I think that was her. Again, could be totally wrong, so... Anyway, I do like the idea, the um, the whole thing of Buttercup being with new friends because it would make uh, make it would make perfect sense that she would be fun, uh, friends with a roller derby team. Um, I like the whole family, you know, family is forever type deal. Uh, <laughs> um, it, again, it was a predictable episode. I um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought again. It it. Uh, I did like the the joke where she was like, yeah, I, I can beat that piece of cake. Like, I can beat that it was nothing. And then, you know, but, uh, Princess grabs her and, he, and, and Buttercup's like, ah, oh, crap. Um, also, I love the, the logic of, oh, these fists from a superpowered being can't break this diamond that are holding the other two Powerpuff Girls, but roller skates can. I love that cartoon lo Sometimes cartoon not logic can just work like that. Um, I actually want Maylin and the action and the other roller and the um, and the rest of the roller derby team to come back. I would love to see them be new supporting characters. But knowing this show, the only character that uh, you supporting character that comes back is like Mitch in some cases. Other time, even Robin only was a one and done episode. So who knows? Maybe they they may come back. Maybe they probably won't. I don't know. Um. Also, I'm you know. So, since I've been exposed to too much fan fiction, I am pretty sure someone has just set sail uh, as someone unfurled the sails to uh, Butterlin, which is May Buttercup and Maylin. I'm pretty sure the sails for that ship has just, you know, been unfurled and they're setting sail out to fan fiction sea. Don't ask me how I know this, but I'm pretty sure, you know, You've been on. If you go to fan fiction, you've been on the internet long enough. You know someone has set that sa set those sails. <laughs> anyway, so all in all, pretty good. Um, the voice acting is going to be uh, going to take a little while to get used to, but I all in all did enjoy the show. I might stick with it. Um, I might keep going. Apparently, this show's the first season's going to be forty episodes long. Which holy shit. <laughs> Um, but Steven Universe had, what, 52 episodes se uh, consecutive, like, separately? So, yeah, 40 episodes probably not, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not that big a deal. But, yeah, um, so you guys tell me, what did you all think of the new Powerpuff Girls series? Do you guys, do you guys like it so far? Do you guys hate it? Do you guys hate it? Uh, just comment below, let me know. Also, do you guys want me to keep her doing episode reviews on Powerpuff Girls? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.